Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another grocery haul. So it's been a while since I've done a grocery haul like this. So today I just thought I'd do one because I bought a whole lot of groceries for a really good price and I just thought I'd quickly show you. So this week I did just like a general weekly shop and I shopped at our local countdown. So the total of what I got today came to about $185 but I had a $15 voucher from one card, so I used that. So the total came down to $169, which was really good for what I got, I think. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I bought. So I got some basmati rice um, and some tissues. One of the things I did today, which I don't always do, but normally I do, is just buy things that were like the cheapest I could see like either on special or just the cheapest price of the product that I wanted to get so usually I do that but not always so yeah I just made sure I did that today so that helped to keep the price down so yeah so I got tissues which were two dollars each or I think even cheaper um I bought some jelly because we've got a little girl's party coming up at the end of the month and um, this is like what I buy for the lunch boxes. So I get a, a few kind of different kinds of muesli bars and stuff. So these are really good veggie fruit sticks. They've got spinach, apple, blueberry, and banana in them. And they were $2.50 a box. And then I got these muesli bars mainly for me because these are the ones I like to snack on when I am in a rush. And yeah, because they're slightly healthier and less sugar. Only four grams of sugar. So... There's a coconut, goji berry, and real dark chocolate. And they were $3.50. And then I got these ones, which are $2 each for the kids' lunch boxes. So chalk honeycomb and yogurt and apricot. And I just got some pretzels. And these buns were $5, I think, $5.50 for 10 chia batter rolls. And they go a long way for us, so... Um, they, I often use them in a meal as well, like if we're having soup or hamburgers, I'll use those and yeah, so they're good value. And then just these bread rolls for $4, so you get 12 in there. So yeah, that was a good price too. And I got some ice cream cones and just, I got a few fresh veggie things and fruit, not too much because we... We're getting a lot of fresh fruit from our trees at the moment. We're getting pears, apples, and we've just finished up having plums. So, and we're getting a couple of peaches as well. So I haven't needed needed to buy too much. And um, so I just got a few bananas this time, and then some salad things. I got this one because it was reduced to two dollars for just a quick and easy throw together salad, and some baby spinach. And some carrots, so they were, I think, two dollars fifty or three dollars. So from the odd bunch, um, these look like totally normal carrots to me. So I don't know why they have like cheaper ones for odd-looking shaped vegetables, but they are perfectly fine to me. So I always go for those. And um, yeah, I just got some. This is like Nutri-Grain, but the cheaper version. So that was $5 a box. And the kids will love that for breakfast. And I got some coconut water and some rice milk and almond milk. I don't think I've tried this one before, but I thought, because um, I couldn't, I normally get soy milk, but I don't think they sell the one that I usually get anymore. So um, that's probably better for me anyway, having the almond milk. So I think I'll just go to that one, but that's like $3.50. And this is two fifty, so it is a bit more expensive. But we'll see if it's good. If I like it, then I might keep buying it. Um, and then I, this is what the kids drink normally, just the milk powder. So that's nine fifty for how much does it make? It says it makes eight liters, but I'm pretty sure we stretch it to make it a bit more than that. So um, yeah, so you, that usually lasts us a bit over a week of milk for the kids. And yeah, so I've got some oats and some blueberries, to, mainly to make smoothies. I got two lots of ice cream this week because 
I've realized that ice cream is, in this house doesn't last very long anymore. So usually one of these lasts us maybe two nights or maybe a little bit more, but having everyone eating it now um, doesn't last long. So I got two lots this week, so the kids will be happy. And this is like a new flavor, which is delicious. Toffee baked churros ice cream. So that is one of my faves. And this one's got four flavors in it. So, and the kids all love the goody goody gum drops. I got some toilet paper for five dollars for those long rolls, which is good because we go through that quite fast. For the meat, I got sausages and a roast hot roast chicken. So that'll do like a quick dinner for us tonight, probably. And then we'll just have a salad with it and a bread roll or something like that, and that's a good throw together dinner. Um, I bought some sweet short crust pastry because I want to make some apple pie now that we've got apples in season. So hopefully I'll find time to do that. And then I saw these ones that were reduced to $2.16. This is a fish pie and I haven't tried these before so hopefully it'll be good. Um, so I bought four of those and we should be able to divide them to feed all of us. So, um, so yeah, that was another cheap meal. Then I bought some frozen shoestring fries and these hokey fish fingers. So you get 15 in a packet and that was $5. So that was quite a good price. Oh yeah, I bought these. Um, these are like crust kits, but I think Ruby can probably eat these now. She's like nine months old now. So she, I, get, I bought these like really expensive um, baby crackers, which were pretty much cruskets anyway so I thought I'd try those on her and see what she thinks and I bought these sparkling water normally I get like the big soda water bottles but they didn't have any in stock so I had to get those which are $1.50 each which is a bit more expensive than usual but that's all I had so um yeah so this is the baby food that I got I normally just get a few of these packets and then do some of my own homemade baby food as well. So I just do a mixture and these are good for when I've just got no time. So I got mango, coconut and quinoa, banana, blueberry and quinoa. And I usually do those, like I'll give her some of that for breakfast and sometimes I'll mix it with baby rice as well. And uh, wild rice risotto and spring lamb. And minted peas, blackcurrant and lamb. So that's what she's got to eat and then I got these as well which is these are the expensive baby snacks so I just thought I'd get one of them this week so these are organic carrot puffs and they just like melt as soon as they go in her mouth so they're really good for her to snack on but there's not really much to them so it doesn't fill her up or anything like they're not many calories but they're good if she's a bit like grizzly and just needs something to occupy herself so and I just saw these new biscuits. Um, they also have chocolate peanut butter ones, but I tried these ones and they are delicious. And they're only $1.50 a packet, so you don't get heaps in them, but they're just so good. So I thought I'd get those for a treat as well. And then this is our chocolate treats for this week. So I got this orange and almond um, dark chocolate. And this one for the kids, some Kit Kat chocolate. And some just some rice crackers and sea salt and lime. This is a really delicious flavor for these corn chips. I like these ones because they're non-GMO and they've got no like flavor enhancers or artificial flavors. So I like those. And these ones too, I got balsamic vinegar and caramelized onion potato chips and just sea salt. So usually when I get chips, I'll just go for the natural just salted ones and make sure they've got no flavor enhancers and stuff in them and yeah then I don't feel as guilty <laughs> so um I got some plain flour and golden syrup that was on special for 350 and then some gherkins two cans of tomatoes that were 90 cents each and this was on special for three dollars fifty I think or three ninety nine, but that's normally like over five dollars. So that was good for that one. And I just bought some cinnamon sticks because I've been doing a few bits of baking with those. And I bought these nappies. So 
some for Ruby and some for Evie. Evie's like still three and she still wears a nappy at night. So she's got those, but I have been doing a mixture of cloth nappies as well as these. So, um, but yeah, these are just so such a lifesaver for when I really don't have time to do the cloth and wash them and all that as well. So sometimes a mother just needs her sanity. So yeah, I think I've covered everything. That is all the groceries I bought for this week and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm hoping that I'll be able to make some more videos now that this, the kids are back at school and I've got a little bit more spare time. So yeah, let me know if you like this video, give me a thumbs up or write a comment and yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching.